A very good morning to you guys. Today, we need to look at cyclones. Okay. So in this particular lecture, we are going to look at features of a cyclone. Features of a cyclone. Okay. Now, in the last lecture, we looked at anticyclone. Now we need to look at uh, a cyclone, which is more like an opposite to anticyclone. So, uh, a cyclone is a system of intense low pressure. Is a system of Intense low pressure. Okay, and uh, they've got so many names depending on where we are. Like um, in in U.S. and America, they are they are called uh, hurricanes, and in Asia and continents, they are called typhoons. So, I can write there sometimes. There are sometimes sometimes known as known as hurricanes like in the US and America and also Typhoons in Asian continents. Okay? So, if they are to be drawn on a map, uh, the isobars are the ones that are used to show cyclones which will be in a, in a circular shape. Okay? Kana waka mbwana pa map zunzumenge zogadai o something like that. They will be in a circular shape. So, the lowest pressure at the center, the lowest pressure at the center that's the other thing about uh, cyclones so strong winds are the ones who blow which blow into the center of the cyclone strong winds blow into the center of a cyclone. All right? Because that's where there is, is low pressure or lowest pressure. So these strong winds which blow into the center of a cyclone are deflected into an anticlockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and in a clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. Okay, this is what will happen to these winds uh, that blow at the center. So they rush upward with a great force. So these winds rise upward. 
width with a grid both okay creating what is known as a vortex creating a vortex creating a vortex which is the area which is the area that uh, which is the area that surrounds the eye of a cyclone that surrounds the eye of a cyclone. All right, and the rapidly rising air gives rise to torrential rains, and the strong winds cause considerable damage to the infrastructure, crops, and vegetation. So I'm sure you can even imagine the type of force in a wind yard, which can actually have the capacity to damage the infrastructure. It will be of great force for sure. So you can write uh, the rapidly rising air, the rapidly rising uh, gives rise to torrential rains. Gives rise to torrential torrential rains. And the strong winds cause, and the strong winds cause, and the strong winds cause considerable damage. considerable damage uh, to the infrastructure, crops and vegetation. To the infrastructure, comma, crops and vegetation. Right. So uh, these uh, cyclones they occur in tropics, that is latitude five degrees and twenty degrees south and north of the equator. So they occur in tropics. Five degrees north and uh, twenty degrees south of the equator. All right. So they occur in autumn when sea temperatures are at the highest. And they occur around February and March in the southern hemisphere and August and September in the northern hemisphere. So they form over warm oceans where sea temperatures exceed 26 degrees and where there is considered variable depth of water 
or of warm water to be more specific. So let's look at examples of tropical cyclones that have affected Zimbabwe over the recent years. Examples of uh, tropical cyclones that have affected Zimbabwe. Okay. Uh, over the recent years, we have number one, Cyclone Elini. Number two, we have Cyclone Japheth. And number three, we have Cyclone Gamet. Okay. So these are the cyclones that have uh, recently affected Zimbabwe. So this uh, marks the end of our tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. These were all the features of a cyclone. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know at 0784-002-002. And also don't forget to subscribe and like on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.